Hello students. Welcome to Learning Management System initiated by Department of College 8 and Practical Education for the third semester students in the analog communication subject. Now we are starting our discussion with the amplitude modulation and B modulation. In the today's, uh, in this session, we are going to discuss in this uh, unit, we are going to discuss about the concept of electronic communication system. Uh, we are going to understand what are, what are the differences between the analog and digital communication as well. What, are, what is the definition? What is the need of for a modulation? What is the basic concept behind the modulation? And what are the different types of modulation techniques we have? And also we are going to discuss in detail about the amplitude modulation, its transmission and its mathematical representation. And also we are going to solve a few problems on, the, on uh, this uh, amplitude modulation technique as well as the demodulation techniques, what are the demodulating circuits we have. Those concepts we are going to discuss in our upcoming sessions. In today's session, we are going to discuss the basic concepts of electronic communication, as well as we are going to discuss about the block diagram of electronic communication system. And also we are going to understand what all the different types of electronic communication system we have. Let's begin our uh, today's session topic with the introduction to electronic communication. Yes, we know the communication. It is the exchange of information. Here we can say, here we can uh, transmit the information from one point to another point. So electronic communication here means the transfer of these information, the information that may be in the form of messages, data, voice, or audio signal. If you want to transmit those information from one point to another point, we need some electronics. So um, here we are going to transmit over a long distance means we have to boost the signal, the energy we need to improve. So then only we can transmit those energy signals, the information signal over a long distance. So in uh, electronic communication, we need a transmit, uh, transmitter, transmission, and there will be a reception. And of, uh, before transmission, we should do some processing of the information. So that means as it is the information we cannot transmit as it is, we need some Mm, boosting operations of that information. At the receiver side also, the signal will be very big. So we need that amplification and we need some decoding operation or the detection operation to detect our receiving signals. So without this manipulations, the transmission, reception and processing of this information, we cannot transmit uh, the information. So in electronic communication, we can do all these things to communicate between a one point to another point. We can say the information you can transmit one-to-one, uh, -one, the point-to-point -point communication. Also, we can uh, transmit the information from one point to multi-point uh, places. So in the traditional technique, so human communication in the before uh, invention of the electronics, they will communicate using a different languages that is called as a face-to-face -face communication. And also if they want to transmit over a long distance in the olden days, they were uh, choosing the option of uh, making a sounds and horns and uh, smoke signals to communicate with each other over a long distance. So when after the 19th century, in the 19th century, the electro electricity is discovered, so there are many applications were explored, like telephones. We can talk over a long distance uh, from one place to some uh, thousand uh, kilometers, thousands of kilometers for the person is there means we can talk and there's a radio communication and also the television, 
these are all uh, the invention after the invention of the electricity these are all come into uh, these uh, techniques are emerged so the basic types of long distance communication we can perform in these platforms uh, internet emails social media like google facebook and yahoo so these are all the different means of communication So we cannot imagine our lives without the communication. Is it right? Yes. Next, let's uh, now about the block diagram of uh, communication system. So this is the block diagram. In this, we have info, first block is the uh, information like information source information source means so whatever the original raw data information is there that is called as the information source that is maybe in the form of sound picture or a speech or a data so these are called as a raw information so as it is this information we cannot transmit over a uh, through a transmitter circuit so we have to go for some transducer operation. The transducer bin is one which converts any physical form of input into an electrical form. Here, the information is converted into an electrical form. This is being transmitted through the transmitter. So why we are going for the transmitter? The so transmitter, which is one which boosts our information signal that is in the electrical form into an transmittable form. That means here you can do the amplification or modulation process to transmit over a long distance. So these three blocks is come under the transmitter. After this, we are transmitting the signals through a channel. So channel, you can find the so many channels that depending upon the distance, you can uh, use a channels. You may be having optical fiber cable, coaxial cable, twisted bed cable, two pair cables. So also as well as the radio channel, there is a wireless. You can say there are the two type of a channels, wired, wired channel and wireless channels. So while transmitting the information over a channel, there is a chances of introduction of noise in the free space. The noise we know this is a unwanted signal that may be introduced in the channel. Here, there is a when it is transmitting over a channel due to the noise, there is a attenuation. Attenuation means it's reducing the signal strength. So that reduces the signal strength. So the whatever the receiver, the receiver is going to receive the signal, that signal will be weak. So we need some processing operation here. So we are going to receive the signal and we are going to amplify it and there will be a demodulation process or a detector detection process to get back our original signal that is will be in the electrical form. Here, the information, whatever we received here, this will be in the electrical form. So, so that is the original signal so that we can represent at the output in our representable form, like uh, in the form of sound wave, in the form of picture, in the form of speech, in the form of data, you can receive the signal at the output by using this output transducer. The output transducer, which can perform the operation of converting this electrical energy into its or in its original form. So, this is, this is about the electronic communication system log diagram. So about the information we discussed. So this is array raw data information that is going to communicate uh, the message signal that we are going to transmit that may be in the form of words, codes, symbols, sounds, images. So transducer is one which converts that any form of input data into an electrical signal. So transmitter, which collects this electrical information and it can transmit 
over a communication medium. Here, there will be a, some signal processing operation is going to happen in the transmitter side, like uh, amplification and modulation. The communication is a physical medium which is connected between the transmitter and the receiver. It may be in the electrical conductor, optical media, free space. So these are all the communication channels we can have here where the noise it may introduced in the channel as we discussed before. Here the signal is gets distorted due to the noise introduced in the system. So noise is an unwanted signal. So that may create an interference uh, with, the, uh, with the original signal. So at the receiver, we are going to collect the information from the channel that is converted back into an understandable uh, form. So the receiver which can perform a detection operation. So convert that uh, signal from the channel into an understandable form by using this detection or a demodulation process. Uh, this converts our original form of signal, the electrical signal. So we need here amplify, amplification and there will be a mixer and there will be a filter to filter out the unwanted noises and as well as the demodulation and detection to get back our intelligent signal is nothing but an original message signal we can get back from the receiver. So to represent that receiver output in our representable form, to get our original form, we need some transducing operation which converts the electrical uh, received signal into an uh, sound. It may be in the form of sound signal, it may be in the form of image data. It can be convert this electrical signal into the original form. I hope you understood this. Uh, the elect uh, communication block diagram, the basic concept of this electronic communication block diagram. Yes, let's move to the next uh, discussion. The types of electronic communication. Yes. There are uh, different types of communication we have. We can say the electronic communication, we can classify into basic three types based upon the directions. Whether you are transmitting the information in a single direction or you are transmitting the information by direction. You can classify these into unidirectional signal as well as bidirectional signals. So in according to that, we have three types. It is a simplex, full half duplex, and full duplex. Next, based upon the nature of information signal, based upon the message signal, what type of information, what type of message you are sending uh, from the information source. So you can classify those into analog and digital communication system. As well, in the third category, based upon the technique of transmission. So what type of technique you are using for the transmission? Whether you are using a baseband transmission, the baseband transmission means that you are transmitting the directly the original signal. Whether you are transmitting uh, with the modulation, that the original signal with modulation. Here, this is without modulation. Here, this with modulation. So the baseband uh, transmission, also this we can say it is a communication with modulation. Also, we can call it as broadband transmission. Let's discuss in detail about this. The classification based on a direction of communication. We have three types, simplex system, half duplex system, and full duplex system. The simplex system we can be uh, we can say it is a one-way communication. One way means the between the transmitter and the receiver. Here, the only one direction you can transmit the information. So, for example, it's a radio communication or a TV broadcasting. In the half-duplex half duplex communication, half-duplex, 
here the duplex means it is a two way so it is calling it as a half duplex means it is a two way communication so at a time you cannot transmit as well as receive so once you are transmitting you can only transmit the signal if you want to receive so after completion of the transmission only you can receive the signal that type of transmission system is called as a half duplex system it is a two way communication but simultaneously you cannot communicate uh, you cannot transmit as well as receive so that's why we are calling it as a half duplex system for example the best example for the half duplex system is the walkie talkies which is used by the policemen military and the security guards and the radio, uh, radio transmission etc next full duplex system the full duplex system means here we will have it is also a two way communication in which the people can talk as well as listen simultaneously for example the mobile phones telephones we are uh, we know we can well, whenever we are talking we can talk as well as we can listen so this is a full duplex communication classification of communication system based on the nature of information signal we can categorize those into analog communication as well as digital communication in the analog communication system here the transmission of continuous signal over a given channel so we are using a continuous signal that means it is a continuously varying signal with respect to the time so if you consider this there will be a carrier as well as a message signal here where the that is in the sinusoidal form which sinusoidal means it should have its own amplitude its frequency and the phase here there will be a modulation process uh, so we can transmit the information uh, in the after the modulation that will become in the analog communication we are going to discuss this topics in the next upcoming sessions that is you can follow amplitude modulation frequency modulation as well as a phase modulation for the continuous wave modulation uh, communication modulation system next digital communication in the digital communication we are uh, discussing uh, uh, we are dealing with the transmission of discrete information over a given channel discrete means here there will be a, a discrete data uh, with a, with respect to the time so here there will be it is also the digital pulses of a constant amplitude will be there and uh, you can represent the analog signal in the form of digital bits zeros and ones there will be a pulse code modulation and delta modulation or an example of uh, digital modulation techniques that can be used in the digital communication. Its third category is the classification based on the technique of transmission. Based upon the technique of transmission, we can classify the transmission into baseband transmission and communication system using modulation. In the baseband transmission, we are going to transmit the original information signal directly and uh, the, the, the type, for example, the example for the baseband transmission are the telephone networks with uh, the voice signal that is converted into an uh, electrical signal and we are going to directly place those uh, signals on a telephone line for the transmission. The communication system using modulation. Here, this is a broadband system. In, the, in, the, in this, the baseband signals uh, we are uh, we are modulating. Like uh, we are modulating with the high carrier signal. This baseband signal is nothing but a original signal. We are going to modulate with the high frequency carrier, and then we are placing it on a communication channel. So. In this today's uh, in this session, we discussed the introduction of electronic communication as well as the concept of electronic communication. 
system block diagram. And also we discussed the different type of electronic communication uh, systems, whatever we have. So in this different types of electronic communication, we discussed uh, uh, this uh, analog communication, digital communication techniques, full duplex, half duplex, and simplex transmission, broadband, as well as the baseband transmission. So hope you understood this session. Those are all the few references. Okay. Now, let's continue our session with the multiple choice questions. The question one, in a communication system, the noise is mostly likely to affect the signal. Options are at the transmitter, B, in the channel, C, in the information source, B, at the destination. Answer is option B in the channel. As we discussed in the channel, we will be having a noise that is introduced by the external environment. Question two, which of the step is not included in the process of reception? Option A, decoding. Option B, encoding. Option C, storage. Option D, interpretation. Answer is B, encoding. So encoding is come in a digital uh, communication technique, but it will be there at the transmitter side. It will be not there at the reception side. The reception side, it will be there will be a decoding process there will be a storage process as well as the interpretation third question a device that can both transmit and receive is called as option a transducer option b duplexer option c radar option d trans receiver Answer is D, trans receiver. See, as the name itself, it's indicating trans receiver. Trans means is the transmission. So receiver, the transmit as well as receive. Fourth question. The velocity of electromagnetic wave is, options are 3 to 10 to the power of 5 meter per second, 3 to 10 to the power of 6 meter per second, 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meter per second, and 3 to 10 to the power of 10 meter per second. Answer is 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. This is the velocity of electromagnetic wave or radio wave, we can say. The fifth question, audio frequency ranges from, options are 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, B, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, C, 20 kilohertz to 20,000 kilohertz, B, none of the above. Answer is B, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is the range of audio frequency. Sixth question, the medium which sends information from source to receiver is called, options are transmitter, option B, transducer, option C, loudspeaker, option D, channel. Answer is D, channel. So channel is a physical medium which sends the information between the source and receiver. Seventh question, 
dash recovers the original signal from the modulated carrier. Options are A, modulator, B, demodulator or detector, C, transducer, D, amplifier. Answer is B, modulator or detector. So as we discussed in the electronic communication block diagram, so at the receiver, we will be having a this demodulation process to detect our original signal. Eighth question, dash at destination is the final stage which is used to convert an electrical message signal into an original form. Options are communication channel, output transducer, demodulator, and or amplifier. Answer is B, output transducer. So output transducer is there at the receiver side to get back the electrical energy that is a uh, demodulated electrical energy into an original form. Ninth question, the type of communication is two way in which only one party transmit at a time is known as Options are half duplex, full duplex, simplex, baseband communication. Answer is A, half duplex. So as we discussed in the half duplex is a two way communication type, but here we can transmit as well receive only once we cannot transmit as well as simultaneously we cannot do it simultaneously tenth question what is the component that convert an electrical signal into a signal suitable for transmission in a given medium called options or transmitter b receiver c amplifier d duplexer Oh, answer is A, transmitter. So as it is the information signal we cannot transmit. So we need some processing operation that can be convert the information into an, uh, a suitable form uh, that can transmit over a medium. So the transmitter can perform this operation to transmit the information signal into a suitable form to transmit over a communication medium. Thank you.